Top 10 Trout Fishing Lakes in Connecticut. Welcome back to the channel and a hearty hello to all you new subscribers. Today, we're diving headfirst into a topic close to my heart, the pursuit of those elusive, powerful fish that lurk beneath the surface. We're talking trout, folks, and not just any trout. We're after the giants that call Connecticut's lakes home. Now let's get down to business. Get your tackle boxes ready, because you're not going to want to miss this. Our first stop takes us to Candlewood Lake, the undisputed heavyweight champion of Connecticut Lakes. This 5,420-acre giant isn't just a pretty face. It's a labyrinth of drop-offs, submerged structures, and hidden coves, all teeming with hungry trout. The sheer size of this lake can be intimidating, but that's part of its allure. It's a place where legends are made, where anglers test their skills against the unknown. The state record trout, a beast that tipped the scales at over 20 pounds, was pulled from these very waters. Candlewood isn't just about the thrill of the chase, it's a place of breathtaking beauty. Whether you're a seasoned angler or a weekend warrior, Candlewood Lake demands respect. So pack your gear, grab your lucky hat, and get ready to experience the untamed beauty of Candlewood Lake. Our next destination takes us to Highland Lake, a place where crystal clear waters reveal the secrets of the depths below. Covering over 444 acres, Highland Lake is a haven for trout, its pristine environment providing the perfect breeding ground for these magnificent creatures. Schools of baitfish dart through the water, their scales shimmering like silver coins, while larger shadows glide effortlessly beneath them. This is Highland Lake, a place where you can sight fish for trout, tracking their every move as they stalk their prey. But be warned, the trout here are notoriously wary, their keen eyesight honed by years of survival in these transparent depths. One wrong move, one misplaced shadow, and they're gone, vanishing into the depths as quickly as they appeared. When you finally hook into one of Highland Lake's finned inhabitants, be prepared for a fight. So, if you're looking for a trout fishing experience that's as visually stunning as it is challenging, Highland Lake is the place to be. Now let's venture off the beaten path, to a place where time seems to stand still, where the whispers of the wind carry tales of legendary catches. This, my friends, is West Hill Pond, a hidden gem nestled amidst the rolling hills of Connecticut. Don't let its modest size of 261 acres fool you. West Hill Pond is a trout fisherman's paradise, its depths concealing a surprising number of trophy-sized fish. It's a place where you can escape the crowds, where the only sounds are the calls of birdsong and the gentle lapping of water against your hull. I remember one particularly memorable trip to West Hill Pond. The air was heavy with the scent of pine needles and damp earth, and a light drizzle painted the surface of the water with tiny, concentric circles. West Hill Pond is a testament to the fact that sometimes, the best fishing spots are the ones least expected. Chapter 4 Our journey now takes us to East Twin Lake, a sprawling 569-acre expanse of water that's as diverse as it is beautiful. East Twin Lake has a personality all its own, a wild streak that's captivated anglers for generations. Imagine yourself navigating through narrow channels, the air thick with the scent of pine needles and damp earth. The shoreline is a tapestry of emerald green, dotted with the occasional splash of color from wildflowers clinging to the rocky edges. As you venture deeper into the heart of the lake, the water transforms shifting from shallow weedy flats to deep mysterious drop-offs. This is where the big trout lurk, their shadows dancing in the depths, waiting for an unsuspecting meal to wander too close. East Twin Lake is a place of contrasts, where peaceful coves give way to windswept points, and where shallow sun-drenched flats transition abruptly into deep shadowy depths. So pack your gear, grab your sense of adventure, and prepare to experience the untamed beauty of East Twin Lake. Chapter 5. Our next stop takes us to Beach Pond, a 372-acre expanse of water steeped in history and teeming with hungry trout. This isn't just a fishing spot, it's a journey back in time. Imagine yourself casting your line in the same waters where generations of anglers before you have tested their skills against some of Connecticut's most prized game fish. As you launch your boat into the cool, clear water, take a moment to appreciate the legacy of this place. The surrounding hills are alive with the ghosts of anglers past, their tales whispered on the wind. 
beach pond is a place where time seems to stand still, the pace of life slows down, allowing you to reconnect with the rhythms of the natural world. But don't let the tranquility fool you. Beneath the surface lies a world of fierce competition, where trout patrol their territory with an almost primal instinct. So, whether you're a seasoned angler looking to add another trophy to your wall or a novice hoping to experience the thrill of your first trout, Beach Pond welcomes you. Chapter 6. Our journey takes us next to Lake Waramog, a place where breathtaking scenery collides with the raw power of nature. Sprawling across 656 acres, this picturesque lake is more than just a pretty face. Beneath its tranquil surface lurks a secret, a hidden world teeming with trout that will test your skills and leave you breathless. Imagine yourself drifting across the lake surrounded by rolling hillsides blanketed in a tapestry of vibrant autumn hues. The air is crisp and clean carrying the scent of pine needles and damp earth. As the sun begins its descent, casting long shadows across the water you feel a tug on your line. This is Lake Waramog, a place where beauty and brawn collide, where every cast holds the promise of an unforgettable encounter. It's a place to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life, to reconnect with nature, and to create memories that will last a lifetime. Chapter 7 Our adventure now leads us to Squance Pond, a 270-acre oasis nestled within the embrace of sprawling state parkland. This isn't just a lake, it's a community, a gathering place where generations of families have come to create memories and experience the joy of reeling in a prize catch. Imagine yourself surrounded by the laughter of children casting their lines for the first time, their eyes wide with anticipation. Squants Pond is a place where everyone is welcome, from seasoned veterans to wide-eyed novices eager to experience the thrill of the catch. But don't let the family-friendly atmosphere fool you. Beneath the surface, Squants Pond harbors a healthy population of feisty trout. So pack your picnic basket, grab your fishing rod, and head on over to Squants Pond. It's a place where you can create lasting memories with loved ones while experiencing the thrill of reeling in a prize-winning trout. Chapter 8, Mohawk Pond, where tranquility meets tenacity. Today we journey to Mohawk Pond, a hidden gem tucked away in the quiet corners of Connecticut. Don't let its diminutive size of 16 acres fool you. This small but mighty lake holds secrets beneath its tranquil surface, secrets that will ignite the soul of any angler seeking a true test of skill. The water is crystal clear, offering glimpses of submerged logs, rocky outcroppings, and the shadowy figures of trout patrolling their domain. These fish are survivors, their instincts honed by generations of evading predators and outsmarting anglers in this small but challenging environment. So, if you're looking for a fishing experience that's as much about the journey as it is about the catch, Mohawk Pond is calling your name. Pack your patience, your keenest instincts, and prepare to be humbled by the tenacity of these small water warriors. Chapter 9. Crystal Lake. Reflections of Trout and Triumph. Our next destination shimmers like a jewel in the Connecticut landscape, Crystal Lake. This 200-acre lake lives up to its name. Its waters so clear they seem to vanish, revealing a vibrant underwater world teeming with life. But don't be fooled by its serene beauty, for beneath the surface a primal struggle for survival plays out daily, and you, my friend, have a front row seat. Crystal Lake is home to a thriving population of trout, their sleek bodies flashing silver as they patrol their watery domain. These are cunning adversaries, their senses sharpened by generations of outsmarting anglers and evading the occasional osprey's dive. Each cast of your line is a gamble, a test of wits against a worthy opponent. It's a place to test your skills, to marvel at the beauty of the natural world, and to perhaps, just perhaps, catch a glimpse of your own reflection in the eyes of a triumphant trout. Chapter 10. Ball Pond, Unveiling Connecticut's Best Kept Secret. Our final destination is a place shrouded in mystery, a place whispered about in hushed tones among those in the know. This, my friends, is Ball Pond, an 82-acre sanctuary for trout and those who seek them. It's a place where time seems to move a little slower, where the stresses of everyday life fade into the background. Ball Pond is a place where secrets are kept and legends are made. It's a place where you can escape the crowds and reconnect with the primal thrill of the hunt, pitting your skills against some of Connecticut's most elusive and hard-fighting trout. 
Landing a trout from Ball Pond is a badge of honor, a testament to your patience, skill, and understanding of these finicky creatures. So, if you're looking for a fishing experience that's off the beaten path, pack your gear, grab your lucky hat, and head to Ball Pond. So there you have it folks, 10 of Connecticut's finest trout fishing lakes, each with its own unique character and challenges. I hope this journey has inspired you to dust off your tackle box, grab your fishing rod, and explore the incredible angling opportunities this state has to offer. Fishing is more than just catching fish. It's about connecting with nature, challenging yourself, and creating memories that will last a lifetime. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more fishing adventures, and let me know in the comments below where your next fishing trip will take you. Thanks for watching.